With only $600 in her pocket, Pony Wave left her home and family in Russia to pursue her American dream. Before long, she was appearing on the hit show Ink Master, working aside legendary Kat Von D. Pony Wave is famous for combining graffiti art, social activism, and eye-popping bold colors, walking a fine line between beauty and vandalism. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. It could even be about your own tattoo. You could be our next story. When I started to be an artist, probably that was started like the minute I was born, <laughs> probably. I used to like paint and draw all my life. And I've been in, you know, the art schools in Russia, art university. I moved eight years ago to, to Los Angeles. Did your parents come to in your family or are they still in Russia? No, they're still in Russia and they never visited me yet. I haven't seen my parents for eight years. I would say this is one of the hardest uh, experience yet in my life. I cannot just give up to, like, uh, with my life and with like what I am here for. But at the same time, when you're missing like, your family, uh, it's like, it's crazy. What was it that brought you to Los Angeles and what keeps you here? I just trust the universe. If universe bring me somewhere, it means something. So when I moved to Los Angeles, I had like $600 with me. <laughs> My best friend uh, that time, he had a car. So we lived in the car for one month. Uh, we sleep in different uh, places. So when I was uh, falling asleep, on the back, he was driving me some different places. And one mor morning I was woke up and I see the ocean and the sunrise. And I had like really strong feeling that I'm in the right place in the right time and everything is going to be uh, just fine. And I was so happy. I cannot imagine, like I had nothing. And I was so happy because it's my journey, because it's my story. And I was like, wow. I born in Russia and I was dreaming like to live in Los Angeles and I live here now. I came to show people that even your language is not perfect. Even if you like scared to be like somewhere but this is your dream, like don't be scared, just try. With everything that you're doing still, do you have an order of what your preference is or what you're pursuing the most among all of your art? Before like 2020 started, I was, uh, I was trying to keep myself in a box. Like, okay, I'm a tattoo artist. This is it. And this is the label, this is the box. That was killing me, really. I was like, oh, okay, so now I have to move like in this box. I'm a tattoo artist, I cannot do like anything else because nobody cares about this. But in 2020, I'm like, stop it. No more boxes. I want to be a tattoo artist. I want to be an artist. I want to be a street artist. I want to sing. I want to create music. I want to maybe, I don't know, someday to create a movie. I want to do everything I want because if I can show something, I want to show it. I like no more boxes. Like freedom is when you don't scare to lose something. We have to enjoy the moment and understand that this moment will be gone forever. In the end, it's all about like to let it go. Pony, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You did a season of Ink Master. What was your take on all that looking back? Ink Master was really, really strong and interesting experience for me. Not because only uh, that is competition between artists, but also because English is not my first language. And me being like from another country, I'm like, what should I do? That was so stressful. And also you sleep like four hours and then you just like filming, tattooing, talking. Did, now, did you work with Kat Von D? To, to work with her was a really good experience for me because she's, I don't know, she's an amazing person. She, she works hard. And when I saw her working, like she woke up at 6 a.m., like do this, then do that, then, and like I was just so inspired. 
Tell me about the, the wall in Venice that, uh, that you like to paint on and uh, that you did uh, a couple of really cool pieces. So Venice Beach, like those walls on Venice Beach are my social media platform. <laughs> I use these walls like when I want to say something because art touches the heart, it's like m meaningful, it's like can speak louder than just like post on Instagram. You painted a new one just last week, right? The one that had to do with Russia, where you're from. Yeah, that that was, it was really simple with the hands, uh, like showing the heart and uh, it shows um, power in love, truth and courage. Was this new piece tied to Alexei Nalbani? I mean, he's of course all over the news now as a high profile opponent of Vladimir Putin. What's it like for you being here in America, watching what happens back home in Russia? Uh, this art was uh, about against the violence, what is going on like in Ru back in Russia that like uh, days when uh, Navalny was arrested and he was like, um, he got three and a half years in the jail and this sign, he showed to his wife, like uh, through this whole the know, heart, yeah. windows, like the, he showed this sign. So I took this sign like for the wall and he said to her, don't be sad, everything is going to be okay. So, um, and after that, people uh, went to the streets for their meeting to show that they like disagreed with the decision because it, it, it wasn't fair. And uh, they were like, people disagree with what is going on in Russia right now. And a lot of people were arrested and hurt. Here in America, we have like, way more freedom than people in Russia right now. I don't think that those problems can be fixed in Russia. All world have to see it to help Russia to fix those problems. It's like you have to show people that we are not scared, we can change it, we are the power, we are the people, it's like we are majority. Navalny just shows people that freedom is inside. He is in jail right now, but his mind is free because he is not scared. Because freedom is where you're not scared, because a lot of people in Russia are just scared. All right, so this is the famous wall in Venice. Yes, they just came, like, like first come, first serve. They just came and just started painting, so you don't have to do like you don't have to like apply online or do something. No, just bring your inks and do whatever you want. You have to be prepared that like after you leave, if someone will come up and cover it the same day, don't be shocked and don't be like you know mad on it because it's like free for everyone you have to like understand that i really like this area because it's like it's so you can take a good picture with the palm trees and everybody is seeing it because it's like you have really good light here huh place. yeah you see so it's already covered but they stay safe our art wasn't covered for a long time because people was, I seen the pictures sent me, people was like covering all around, but didn't touch the faces for like a few weeks. So that was really like, and That's unusual. Know. The fact that it was left up uncovered for two weeks, that's like a big deal here. Yeah, yeah, actually, yes, I was really surprised. Sometimes people ask me why you choose like this wall to like to paint it because it's not permanent. It's like, it's not gonna stay like long. I said that I don't want COVID stay long. Like uh, COVID will be history one day. COVID it's will be history. Like, yeah. yeah. So I want this paint was history as well. Pony Wave's COVID-inspired artwork on the Venice walls has since been covered over with someone else's latest art. But even fresh paint can erase inspiration, because true inspiration lives forever, just like Pony Wave's tattoos. For some, a tattoo can speak to us individually, reminding us in our own unique language where we come from, where we are today, and perhaps where we are even going. Maybe that's why we leave ourselves permanent reminders in case we get lost along the way. <laughs>